After watching this video, you will be able to demonstrate proper application of the HEPA filter mask, identify when to wear the HEPA filter mask, and demonstrate the proper method of performing positive and negative pressure checks. Once you begin your treatment, you will receive a HEPA filter mask that will protect your lungs from infection. This mask is designed to offer you protection against airborne infections, which can develop when bacteria, viruses, or fungus are breathed into the lungs. You need to wear your mask whenever your white blood cell count is low or your immune system is weak. It should be worn anytime you leave your home or local housing. It is okay to take off your mask in the car only if the windows are up and the air is on recirculate. It is especially important to wear your mask when you are walking through the hospital or clinics, as well as when outdoors. If you are going to an ITA or clinic appointment, you need to wear the mask while waiting in the waiting room, and you may take it off when you are called back into a treatment room. In the hospital, you need to wear the mask anytime you are outside of your room. You do not need to wear your mask in your hospital room, except for when the housekeeper is cleaning your room. This will protect you against any dust that is disturbed during house cleaning. You need to leave your mask on for 15 minutes after the cleaning is finished. Inside your home or local housing, you do not need to wear the mask, but you should not be in any room that is being cleaned or vacuumed, and you should not re-enter that room for 45 minutes after cleaning. Autologous patients need to follow the rules about wearing the mask until day 30 after transplant. Then from day 30 to day 60, you need to wear the mask only when entering a medical building. Allogeneic patients need to follow the rules about wearing the mask until day 100. Then from day 100 to 180, you need to wear the mask when entering any medical building. In order to be protected from infection with the HEPA filter mask, it must fit you properly. When you first receive the mask, a nurse will help you find the right fit. However, over time, the mask may stretch out, so it is important to know how to adjust the fitting properly. In order to fit the HEPA filter mask, place the opening of the mask over your mouth and nose, then pull the head harness over the crown of your head. Take the bottom straps in both hands and place them in the back of your neck and hook them together. This is sometimes difficult and you may need help to fasten the hooks. It is important that you do not leave the hooks undone or the mask serves no purpose. Position the nose piece low on the bridge of your nose for optimal visibility and best fit. Adjust the top straps first, then the lower neck straps by pulling on the ends. You want a good seal to prevent air from getting in the edges of the mask and not through the filters. To ensure that you have a good seal, you should perform positive and negative pressure checks. To perform the positive pressure seal check, place the palm of your hand over the exhalation valve in the center of the mask and exhale gently. If the face piece bulges slightly, and no air leaks are detected between your face and the face piece, a proper fit has been obtained. If you feel air leaking, tighten the straps a little and repeat until a tight seal is obtained. To perform the negative pressure check, place your thumbs onto the center portion of the filters, restricting airflow into the mask and inhale gently. If you feel the face piece collapse slightly and pull closer to your face with no leaks between the face and the face piece, a proper fit has been obtained. If you feel air leaking, reposition the mask on your face or tighten the straps to eliminate air leakage. Repeat these steps until a tight seal is obtained. Your mask is properly fitted when no air leaks are noted your mask can be cleaned by wiping out the inside with an alcohol wipe or a wet cloth. Make sure it dries completely before putting it back on 
and do not use bleach or any other harsh chemicals to clean the mask.